Hi, I'm Max the Hare. And I'm Tori the Tortoise. Come join us on our adventures across the world. Ah, finally we can spend a day relaxing off the road. I agree. Look how relaxed everyone is on the beach. Oh, look what's happening out on the water. Is someone standing out on the water? That's surfing, Max. I guess hares don't spend a lot of time in the water. Let's go, Tori! I gotta try this out for myself. Grab yourself a surfboard! Me? A turtle on a surfboard? <laughs> My shell is built for this. Let me explain the science behind waves. Energy is all around us and can be in different forms. Wind is moving, so it contains kinetic energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be converted from one form to another. Kinetic energy from wind is converted to kinetic energy in water. The wind blows along the surface of the water and transfers energy from the fast-moving air to the water molecules. The higher the wind speed, the more kinetic energy it has to create larger waves. Another form of energy is known as gravitational potential energy, which is energy possessed by an object due to its vertical height above the ground. This is why dams are built at places where water falls from a greater height to harness its energy. Here I go, Tori. I'm paddling to pick up speed. This is your body's chemical potential energy, which comes from the food we eat converting to kinetic energy. Watch, Tori. I'm riding the wave. As the waves grow taller, the kinetic energy is converted to gravitational potential energy. When the waves become unstable and fall over, the gravitational potential energy becomes kinetic energy again. Ah, I'm falling! Easy peasy. Tori never in a hurry. I should never underestimate the power of wave energy. I'm totally spent. Give yourself a huge pat on the back, Max. You're the first hair I've seen on water. Ah, thanks, Tori. Another sunset to conclude a beautiful day.